do you feel safe at school at all or are we aware that, of the signs that a threat can come out of nowhere? In times like this, we want to feel safe and try to stay focused on our education and hoping danger won't approach our doorstep. My name is Zaya Gary and I'm here to tell you that mass shootings is a serious thing and what you can do as a student at University College can do to improve that. The high school in Florida thought the same thing but instead endured a heavy awakening because of one individual. So, this year alone there has been 18 school shootings who have suffered heavy gun violence and mass shootings. Can it be our generation to stop it from growing? If so, it's our time to make a difference. It's cool to hope for peace, but it's more useful to start doing something. Each school has their own policy for when it comes to stuff like being fair in guns and for an incident across occurs at school. Take for example, we have our school, our school policy. It states, possession for the following weapons, firearm, electrical dart gun, electrical stun gun, gravity knife, switchblade knife, and etc. In a certain circumstances, an expectation can be made to the possession of a firearm for a three carrier who possesses a permit and with valid reasons shown. There's also another thing that you should keep also keep in mind that is the Gun Free Schools Act GFSA. The Gun Free School Act GFSA was passed in 1994 as part of the Improving America's Schools Act. The act will call for states to enact laws requiring that a student who brings their firearm to school or possesses a firearm at school should be expelled for a period of not less than one year. This quote came from, a, came from an article that was discussing one of the acts to prevent mass shootings in schools. Arthur was a forum page. This page came from page 28. But he didn't stop that kid on the news from killing all those people and he and he was suspended on top of that for what he posted on social media of him holding a gun. Having school policies and facts are good, but we need more than that. If you heard of Emma Gonzalez's speech on gun violence and how the NRA is making money off of people who are getting killed by gun violence and especially at schools. On top of that, they're delivering that money to our so-called leader of the free nation. She said, and I quote, $30 million in the rather about the number of gunshot victims in the United States in the one and one half months in 2018 alone that comes out to being $5,800. So everyday people are getting killed by gun violence while the NRA, people like the NRA and our president of the United States is getting richer. And people to let, to let the government wake up and see what's happening is to survive us of the Florida mass shooting. Could we, could we even depend on our government to handle the situation? Apparently not. According to Fox News, Trump replies to the situation on NRA control on gun violence. He's, his response, and I quote, I'm a fan of the NRA. There is no big bigger fan. I'm a big fan of the NRA, Trump told lawmakers Wednesday, these are great people, these are great, are great patriots. They have love for our country, but that doesn't mean we have to agree on everything. So we can't depend on, our, on the president to make the right call, because apparently he would care less. But what? But we can but what we can do is to ensure our school safety is we need to have a proper school security system and have a system that works to ensure our school our safety. What's one system that we can try doing is tighten up our security at school, such as carry some carry cameras, some working cameras around the building, uh, active security walking through the schools. What what can be done about it and how as us as a community can prevent that from happening. I'm reading a quote from from a, from an article that uh, 
gave one example what can we do what they did as a community to improve their school security. I say and I quote, in the 2013-2014 school year, an estimate of 89% of public schools schools use security cameras to monitor the school. 43% reported the presence of one or more security guards, adding 10 page 104. This is one example on what we can do as a community to help improve our school safety. Or if you want to be like Emma Gonzalez and to put an end to the NRA gaining, gaining to our death toll, there is always an alternative. You can join an art activist group or set up a peaceful protest. Or, map, or march even to demand better action and defense against the gun control group. It took one team in particular, Emma Gonzalez, to let them know what, can, what, can, what we what can't endure this any longer and deserve better by the security system because what will happen next month, next week, or even the next decade. So in conclusion, we should use our voices and demand for better protection in our school, better security, better safety awareness, and to reach out to others to, let, to tell them to help our school, to prevent others from doing something that is going to, going to damage them or anyone else. I know we, we don't like the idea of, of being treated like we have something to hide. I know we value our, pri our privacy from being invaded, but I know we value our, our safety and our lives a little bit more. So we should make a list of suggestions of what we can do to uh, make our school safer. My name is Zaya Gary. Thank you for watching my video.